BTEC Applied Science Unit 2. This is my third video about the titration task. It's a big task. It needs three videos. Okay, I'm going to talk about writing up the report now. Um, if you want to know what the specification says, the criteria are for past merit and distinction, look at page 44. Um, your teacher should share you share with you what the criteria are for a pass of merit and distinction they're allowed to do that but uh, they're on page, page 44 of the specification if you want to have a look when you write your report basically there's an introduction there's the method there's the analysis and there's the evaluation do an introduction I would do a bit of a title page as well what basically what is the aim of the experiments do a summary of what you're actually doing or going to do the tense isn't important uh, in the methods uh, and the analysis you have to include a risk analysis uh, detail step-by-step -step methods Justify your choice of methods and the amounts that you're using and the equipment that you're using. Justify it. Why are you doing it that way? Why are you using that much of that? Why are you using that equipment? Put your results in good tables with proper column headings, nice and neat. Show any calculations. Explain your calculations as well. Don't just chuck numbers in there. Uh, any graphs, nice and neat. Uh, in pencil with a ruler lovely neat graphs and then the evaluation I'll talk about the evaluation in a bit okay so how did you produce your standard solution how did you work out the concentration of the standard solution how did you measure the mass and the volume accurately when you're standardizing your hydrochloric acid why use methyl orange uh, why did you do the titration at least three times? How did you do it as accurately as possible? And then when you did the sodium hydroxide titration, why did you do it with phenolphthalein before you did it with the pH meter? Uh, why and how did you calibrate the pH meter? The evaluation. Now, if you're hoping to get a distinction you must do a good job of the evaluation okay uh, most of the distinction criteria are based around the evaluation so I've, I've written some pointers here you don't just write a little sentence for each one each one of these should be a discussion a good evaluation we're talking kind of at, at least you know between a page and two pages font size 11 really good discussion lots of intelligent relevant points how does your final value compare with the actual concentration what's the absolute difference and what's the percentage difference okay how does your value compare with other groups I would put my value in a table with at least two other groups and then I would discuss you know what does that tell me about how accurate my answer is what sources of error were there in your method what improvements could you have made to your method and for each of those why would it have made it better okay I can't stress too much if you want a distinction you've really got to do a good job of this